In part one, we built this frame to hold the dagger board in place. Didn't work out how we planned. So today we got to remove it and then get a new dagger board in that's a little more thin and then try and make a rudder. There we go. Here's the old dagger board. Mark got a new thinner piece of plywood because it wouldn't fit in between our pontoons. The gap between these pontoons is wider than the gap between these pontoons. Right now I'm putting the old dagger board on a new sheet of plywood. I'm gonna trace it and then move this board over to there. Will it fit between the pontoons? Aha! It will! <laughs> now we can't get it out. Without any struggle, we got this thing out. There's a lot of debris in there. Is I, there? I wonder if we had a twig wedged in between this and the pontoon. Oh, yeah. I made this little dagger board cleaner outer doohickey with a nice comfy handle. And now we will proceed with cleaning out the pontoon. Oh, yeah. I don't know how well that's taken anything out, but... Ow, that hurt. Now that it's clear, let's test it again. It goes down. All right, there we go. Nice new thin dagger board to put in over here. Oh, I was gonna try and walk that over there, but that's a bad idea right now. Cause we got this guy. Ta-da. Aha. Just built this temporary rudder. We're gonna put it over here and sort of use it as a placeholder just to see where everything actually lines up. What's better than one rudder? Dual fin rudder. Dual fin rudder. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm trying to get it underneath there we go all right well this is why this was a test uh -uh. <laughs> I'm hitting like the skeg yeah uh, the skeg is that little fin at the bottom of the motor back to the drawing board cut cut got an idea gonna adjust a little bracket spacing things so that way we can fit this thing on here a little bit better All right, now let's try this again. Oh. <laughs> Would it be easier if you lifted nope. the... <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That is kind of what I was thinking. It's better, but you gotta cut out like big U's. It would be so nice if we had decking right here. <laughs> See if this fits better. Sitting better already. I wonder what happens. Oh yeah. Uh, it's not too bad. It's just not like anchored on there in any way. That bracket might be hitting it too. It's like completely tipped. Like here there's a gap like that. Yeah. And on this side it's touching. Cut like a D shape out. The bottom of the D I think is going to hit the panther yeah. mount right when we turn. I think you're totally right. It looks serious, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah if we can make this thing lighter. <laughs> yeah, that helps. In any way. It's getting lighter. Right, I'm going to go and turn it. Contact. This is like the max threshold though, so that's good. Okay. And the other side, contact. Oof, that one's way worse. They just need to be deeper. Got a couple more wedges cut out. See how it fits. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this again. Oh. So we're about to do a test of winds blowing. We're gonna put our dagger boards down. One, drop two, that. There we go. We got our new rudder. It's a double rudder that is pretty bootleg right now, but we're just using it for testing. In theory, since the wind is pushing that way and the current's going this way, hopefully we can use the back of our boat as a sail. 
and control it. And control it. So I'm gonna hop on and steer. And now we are trying to sail. Is it turning us? No. It is not working. Let me try to give it a little I'd say don't do that. <laughs> I think we just couldn't get far enough out there to get blown good. Look, we're going forward now. We're sailing. <laughs> we're sailing. Finally starting to get a few gusts of wind. He's moved us over towards the right-hand side where it seems to be getting a little bit more wind. But I mean, we've been out here for 20 minutes. Hey, we haven't gone awry yet. Suck. <laughs> a and second. <laughs> a, two, and D, like buzz. <laughs> First thing is we haven't actually lost control yet, which is great. Second is we haven't gone all the way downstream. We're actually going upstream right now currently. And there's the dock right there. The bad news about our rudder design right now is that when we turn on the motor, the rudder smokes the motor. So we got to uh, <laughs> we gotta fix that one. If you come in here, you can see where the propeller started slicing up the boards. So we're going to sacrifice some of our performance and cut out a little bit and see if it still works. If not, back to the drawing board. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Looks professional. He's laser guided. It is very much laser guided. I'll tell you what, it's it's nice that it's getting lighter and lighter. <laughs> yeah. Well, you didn't think about this one. All the weights on the back. So it wants to lean in like that. Mm. Poop! We cut out our propeller release in the rudder. We added that little board too on top. Should uh, complete the whole thing. And now we're gonna give it a go and see if it clumpy clamps on itself. It's not clumpy clamp then. Now is the rudder getting pulled into the propeller though? It doesn't seem to be shifting. Yeah, it I mean, seems pretty stationary. Yeah, I mean it's pulled into the propeller. So we hit the limit. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty stationary. <laughs> what did it do? It, it was pulling it into the boat. The whole thing shifted yeah, the whole thing. down this way. We have to look at that footage. Yeah. <laughs> Where did it actually clip the rudder at? Right there on the edge where there's a huge bite taken out. Okay. Back to the drawing board. Good. We made our rudder, but we think we can make it a lot better when we actually make our sail. So check out this video right here. No, it's it's this way. So check out this video right here. And thanks for watching. <laughs>